Hi, I'm John DiPilato, and just like you, I got interested in cybersecurity because of people on YouTube like Network Chuck, John Hammond, and David Bomble, just to name a few. But for me, there was something way more to my journey. It started with my faith. Today, we're going on a special adventure to see how Christian beliefs connect with cybersecurity principles and help us navigate the online world with honesty and meaning. Let's see how faith can change the way we face online problems, moving us from just avoiding mistakes to taking action with purpose. Let's start with getting into the wisdom of Proverbs. But first, let's really think about how these principles have guided our own digital decisions. Share your reflections in the comments down below. So, here is Proverbs 4, 6 through 7, as it reminds us that emphasizing wisdom and understanding as our guiding lights. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Have you ever seen or experienced a digital transformation that was inspired by faith? If you have, share your story with us. We want to hear it. Now, let's imagine a hacker who is hidden in the darkness, causing chaos in all the hidden corners in the deep dark webs of the internet. But then something amazing happens with the help of God. Revealing their faith, they step back into the light and their skills become a ray of hope this isn't just a story about change. It's a powerful example of how belief and technology can come together to bring redemption. How can faith not only lead us away from darkness, but also inspire us to use our talents for the greater good? Come with me as we fly into this tale of redemption, where lost souls find their purpose in the vast digital world. Where they are guided by their renewed faith. Schools like the Tourneau University and Geneva College, just to name a few, don't just teach about protecting computer systems. They also focus on understanding morals from a Christian perspective. Students not only learn how to defend against cyber threats, but also how to act with integrity and honesty so, for a minute, let's just imagine a cybersecurity expert or professional who has to choose between using a weakness for their own benefit or reporting it for everyone's sake and safety. Thinking about what would Jesus do? It might help them make the right decision or ethical choice. Then there's the journey of individuals like Kevin Mitnick and Hector Xavier Monsiger, or otherwise known as Sabu. This Bible verse comes to mind, and it is Ephesians 4, 28. Let him that steal, steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, which is good that he may have to give to him that needeth. All of these people were once involved in doing bad things online breaking the law, exploiting it for their own good, but they completely changed and transformed their ways. Their stories are really interesting because they show that with the right guidance on what's right and wrong, it is possible to use their special skills to make a positive impact on society, in the world, and the online community. Kevin Mitnick used to be a really famous hacker who broke into the computer systems of more than 40 big companies, to name a few, like IBM, Motorola, and even the US National Defense Warning System. But after he went to jail, I think it was approximately 20 years, he turned his completely his life around. Now, he helps companies with, with the cybersecurity. As a consultant, using his hacking skills for good instead of bad. Both Mitnick and Monsiger were once known as black hat hackers or bad hackers. 
but they turn their lives around, like I said, and now work in cybersecurity field to help organizations protect themselves. Mitnick has his own company where he gives advice on security and Monsager or Sabu helped the FBI stop more hacking attacks. One big major difference is that Mitnick actually went to prison for his crimes, while Monsager or Sabu avoided a very long jail sentence by helping the authorities. But overall, they both went from being black hat hackers or bad hackers to white hat hackers or good hackers. If I were to create an ethical hacking initiative, it would be a program where people who used to be black hat hackers could transform to white hat hackers and use their skills for good. They would work with companies and organizations to find vulnerabilities in their systems and to help fix them. Before any bad hackers could exploit them for their own malicious purposes. They would also teach people about cybersecurity and how to protect themselves online. It would be a way for their former hackers to use their knowledge and their skills to make the internet a safer place for everyone. But what does it really mean to transform in the world of, in the world of cybersecurity and the digital universe? Can Christian teachings really help fix the mistakes from the past and make the internet a safe and trustworthy place in the future? Hmm. There will always be bad people. However, imagine a world where our actions against those cyber threats are guided by faith and integrity. This idea makes us think about a future where cybersecurity professionals not only protects against those hackers, but they also set a good example of moral and ethical behavior. Therefore, making the digital world a better place. Let's not only imagine these things, but actually create a world of cybersecurity where protecting online spaces is connected to upholding good values. Every time we click, make a decision, or do something online, we can help make this happen. I want you to join me in this important mission to support a future where those who work to keep the internet safe also care about doing the right thing. You can help us supporting educational programs that combine technology with ethics, promoting a responsible practice in your own organization, and getting behind initiatives that promote online safety and the ethical standards. I'm eager to hear your thoughts though. Have you ever been in a situation where you couldn't decide what the right choice was? How did you handle it? And did your values influence your decisions? Share your stories and your insights in the comments below. Also, by liking, subscribing, and turning on the notifications, you, be you become part of a community that is committed and dedicated to creating a safer and more ethical internet. So let's work together to make the internet a secure and morally upright space where our discussions can bring about actual change. So as we finish up with this video, let's get inspired by Matthew 5, 14 through 16. It tells us that we should not let our light shine and hide it. But on the big world of the internet, our goal is to make sure that what we do online promotes strength, kindness, and honesty. It's not just about keeping the information safe, but also about making people feel good. So when we follow these values in our efforts to stay safe online, we help create a future where technology not only protects our data, but also makes us better as a whole. So let's promise to be honest and caring online, like flashlights in this digital era. Let's make sure that we keep talking about this important topic. Like I said before, share those stories of how technology has changed and improved especially when it comes to making ethical choices. 
your thoughts and experiences are really important as we all work together to make cybersecurity better and more ethical. But one more thing before we go, I want to encourage you to not just think about these things, but to take the actions that follow. Have conversations, support these projects, and keep learning how integrity matters in our digital lives. Until next time, let's promise to keep being bright and brave and to make sure our technology choices always match our highest ethical standards. Keep on shining, keep on doing what's right, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. God bless everyone. Have a magnificent, majestic day.